Good morning. What about the four and five bedroom houses? They kind of went out of fashion, uh, I, I would say, last year and the year before. Um, you know, developers couldn't shift them, you know, and we were all moving back to smaller size houses. But how about this for a scenario? With the lockdown, people are now thinking, well, do you know what? I don't actually have to live in a uh, urban area so much. You know, the, the, you know, we're working from home. I could probably uh, spend a bit more and get a slightly larger house in a rural environment, you know? So I think this is something that is to be considered. So where the four and five bedroom houses weren't so popular, maybe, maybe there's a little bit of a turnaround going on there with people moving out to that place they really would have wanted to live uh, before the lockdown and they were able to work from home. And so they're not necessarily having to live so close to the train station, etc. So there could be an opportunity there for slightly larger uh, single dwellings and four and five bedroom houses that people want to move to for their families, etc. And I think that this move around and people moving around is uh, is fueling the market as well. A lot of people are saying it's pent up energy and you know because of the lockdown and everyone's trying to get in before the stamp duty. But I think there's a, there's something more going on. I think there's something more socially that's going on around the way we live and work and, and, the, and the location and geographics of where we work. I think there's a lot more opportunity now, particularly with new technology, particularly in the way that uh, companies are gonna restructure around their, their built environments, their space, their office space, and where people wanna live. So that will fuel, and I think that will, that will kind of counter a little bit the, the, this so-called downturn that people are talking about. So that's that, and what I want to feature as well is a company called Berkeley Homes. In an, an example of what I'm talking about is if a large established developer like Berkeley Homes are uh, developing larger style properties now, it's, it means that they know something. So have a look at what they're doing. If you're a property investor and you're looking to become a profitable developer, it's always good to see what the established guys are doing. So have a look at my post today, see what they're doing. I'd be really interested in your comments below. This has been Stuart Davidson, your friendly QS, and I'll see you in the next video.